Uh, I went to my first anime convention and met an iCosplayer who took part in a cosplay competition. The announcer pronounced Evelyn as Iveland and gave up trying to pronounce DG Sanji, which was fun. <laughs> it does happen sometimes. Not a lot of people uh, know how to pronounce my name or Niji Sanji and hey, I, I shouldn't really be saying anything because Lord knows I don't know how to pronounce things either. Or as a certain someone says, like at least it didn't say Ike Evelyn. <laughs> I think it was like at the start of April. I just sent my vocals in um, around the start of April. Mm. <laughs> I realized I clicked on a video on YouTube. I'm like, oh, what's this? I clicked on a video and I, re I recognized the intro track immediately. And it was <laughs> like Maria Marionette and Ike Evelyn. And Ike Evelyn did a fucking Ike Impulse cover. And I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me, really? It you really it did the same really song? Really <laughs> 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 By the way, which is a totally, totally valid way of saying my name. Don't worry. Like I'm not trying to I'm trying to throw any shade here. Ah, <laughs> oh, you guys know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Don't expose battle, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, battle, like battle's great. By by the way, if any of you haven't seen Battle and Haka's cover of Inkia Impulse, please check it out. They did such a banger job. I think that's Battle's first cover, actually. So, big props on releasing your first cover. I hope there's many more to come because it was banger. Haka is always being an absolute beast with the vocals, killing it with the high notes and the screams. And then we actually had the same instrumentalist, Jun, who uh, did the instrumental for Inca uh, Impulse for me and Maria as well. Oh yeah, and their video? It looks almost exactly like the original ending for Asobi Asobase. It was so sick.